Next, we will explore how the method affects the appearance of brushes. The method controls the media that comes out of your brush or art tool. This can affect the look and behavior of the brush, as well as how the paint blends with the layers underneath. You can imagine oil paint and acrylic paint tend to cover layers of paint underneath, whereas something like a marker is more transparent and tints rather than covers. Many of the methods also require you to select a subcategory, but for now we will just focus on the characteristics of each method. I'll select the soft airbrush and reset it. You can see that it's covering the paint or the pixels underneath using the enhanced cover method. Selecting the enhanced cover or legacy cover methods allow my brush to paint with an opaque medium, though I can make the medium semi-opaque or translucent using the opacity property. Just as well, I can change the composite method to multiply or gel to make the paint tint the underlying layers. I'll change the composite method back to default. The enhanced cover method is new to Painter 2022. Enhanced cover improves upon the legacy cover method by enabling anti-aliasing on the edges of dabs that use a flat method. In layman's terms, that makes the edges of the dab softer so you don't get a jagged, pixelated edge along your strokes. Noise has been added to the enhanced cover method. This reduces artifacts and strokes and greatly improves the feathering and soft brushes. I've set the dab type to circular, the dab profile to pointed, and reduced hardness to 10%. If you zoom in closely and compare feathered strokes from each cover method, you'll be able to see this effect in action. Alpha blending has been added to many of the subcategories to improve the accuracy of color blending. This helps to prevent unwanted shifts in color when you blend. The grainy flat subcategory can now utilize grain, and grainy edge flat can now use opacity and enhanced layer blending properties. Brush loading is supported for all of the enhanced cover subcategories. This allows you to make your paint brushes and blenders look smudgy, wet, and oily. Enhanced cover is also optimized to be up to 50 times faster on your GPU and 18 times faster with CPUs that support AVX2. So it really should be added to any brushes that can support it, unless you prefer the look of legacy cover. There are six new enhanced cover subcategories that match their counterparts in legacy cover. Greeny Soft Alpha Blend is the equivalent of the Legacy Greeny Alpha Blend. We will be discussing subcategories in the next lesson. I'll reset this brush. Next, I'll change the method to Build Up. Then I'll select a fully saturated yellow orange color. The Build Up method does an excellent job of emulating transparent media by building up to black as colors are layered upon each other. In order to clearly see the build up happening, we will have to change the composite method of the layer we are drawing on to gel. That changes the paint to blend with the underlying layers more like a ballpoint pen or marker would. As I continue to build up overlapping strokes, we can see another characteristic of the build up method, and that is a shift in hue where the strokes overlap. Although I have yellow selected as my color, my brush strokes are fading to orange, then red. You can control the strength of this hue shift by adjusting the opacity. A low opacity will show a little buildup. A higher opacity will cause a more aggressive buildup. I'll set the opacity back to 5%. This shift in hue is most apparent when you choose a very saturated color. If I build up strokes using a darker, desaturated color, the color will begin to multiply or darken each time it overlaps. Now that I have some nearly black strokes on my canvas, I will reselect that saturated yellow-orange color. If I paint on the lighter pixels, and then across the black, you'll notice that the build-up method only makes things darker. So since you can't make black any darker, the overlapping yellow stroke has no effect on it. Imagine you are coloring in a coloring book with markers. Build-up is trying to emulate that experience. So when you're using the build-up method, you'll want to be drawing on a very light or white canvas. The next method is Eraser. If I change the method to eraser, my brush is converted into an eraser, which removes paint rather than adding it. We'll explore what the eraser method can do in the following lesson. Let's change the method to selection. With selection brushes, you can paint to create a selection that you could then fill in with something else like a gradient or pattern. I'll fill this selection with a pattern. And once I deselect my edges, you can see that the edge of the fill feathers out to match the transparency of the selection I painted. 
We'll be discussing selection brushes in more detail in a later lesson. Next, let's change the method to drip. If I swirl a few colors together, you can see that drip is kind of a smudgy media with an oily feel to it. You can see how it pushes color around while mixing colors together in an oily way. Choosing this method has essentially turned our medium into an opaque paint that has its own unique behavior that is different from cover. The next method is cloning, which can turn a brush into a cloner. We'll be skipping over this until a later lesson where we'll be discussing cloning. Let's change the method to wet. The brushes in the watercolor pigment category use wet. Wet is meant to simulate fluid media like watercolor, thinned oils, and gouache. If I paint with wet, it's going to create a watercolor layer and set it to the gel composite method automatically. Wet brushes deposit paint that is able to diffuse naturally, which means the fluid media can flow and interact with the canvas. The next method is digital wet. The brushes found in the watercolor fringe category use this technology. I'll reset the soft airbrush. For digital wet to work properly, I'll need to select the circular dab type and the watercolor dab profile. Digital wet gives you a pseudo watercolor effect. You can add some diffusion and wet fringe to make it look more natural, but the paint does not flow like the previous method. Digital wet is an older watercolor technology which does not require you to paint on a special watercolor layer. You can use this method to achieve some decent watercolor effects by painting with heavy pressure and then fading the pigment out using light pressure. Lightening the color with white gives the illusion of the watercolor becoming diluted with plain water. In order for that effect to work, this method should be used on a layer set to the gel composite method. Let's reset this brush and change the method to marker. Marker can simulate the behavior of marker pens. Because marker uses ink media, it also requires that you are drawing on a gel composite method layer. Marker is similar to the buildup method in that the media can build up darker upon itself. However, with the right settings, marker has its own unique behavior and feel. You'll need to disable the opacity pressure expression and set the opacity to 100%. Try making a stroke that transitions from heavy to light pressure and you'll notice that the opacity of the stroke is completely uniform. Once you pick the pen up, each consecutive stroke will blend darker with the previous one. If we compare marker to buildup, you can see buildup has opacity that is more varied. Let's change the method to texture. Texture is going to allow me to paint with an image. This is a useful medium for adding 2D textures to renders of 3D models, but you can also use it to add character to natural media as well. In the properties bar, I can choose a texture to paint with from the texture flyout. I'll choose the dirt texture. I'll change the composite method of the layer I'm painting on to default. If I paint a test stroke, you can see that the image of dirt is what's coming out of my brush. And just like the other media in Painter, I can control the opacity and other properties of the brush. We'll discuss texture painting in more detail later in this course. The final method is plugin. Plugin is a unique method because it encompasses a lot of different special effects that are not shared by any of the other methods. In older versions of Painter, third-party developers could create plugins, which is where this method gets its name from. 